good afternoon we're so happy that you're here we daily vlog so if you like this video come back tomorrow it is monday and we had a busy weekend so we're looking forward to a chill day the boys had really good naps but before we can just chill the rest of the night i mean we have we have a couple of things that we want to get done around the place but i'm gonna finish editing and peter is headed back to planet fitness so that he can use their treadmill for Dobie Challenge training. We did look up a couple of places in Chicago that have indoor tracks, but Peter actually doesn't, like he likes the treadmill, like the repetitiveness of just like being in a treadmill and being able to like watch the TV and stuff, and it's closer um, compared to like going around and around. Oh no! So, the decision was made. Back to Planet Fitness. Relaxing night at home. doing day five it's another big one we haven't shown all of we have not shown all of the different trucks you can take it you want to take it we haven't shown our advent calendar every day but we've gotten lots of construction trucks lots of nice puppets there you go wow it's a big one cement mixer oh it even turns oh. Should we open Teddy's and bring it over to him? Oh. Oh. It looks like um <gasps> Bob or Billy Bob Bob Billy? I think that's his name. <laughs> From Bluey? Yeah. It's a little elephant. Okay. I will hit the chocolate. Ooh, there's your finger puppet. It's an elephant. You want him? You can have him. There you go. Hey, cool. All right, kind of a busy Monday for me at work, um, which is good. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping it's like the last big hurdle between last week and you know some of the busyness I had this week to get ready for the really end of the year calm. Um, I am slated to fly down just for the day. On Friday, we're having our holiday party at my boss's house. So I'm flying out, I think it's like a 5 a.m. flight down and I have a 10 30 p.m. flight back up kind of like what I did last year if you guys remember um, we'll see if I get any Disney time uh, it's looking really close it's looking like I might end up at Springs for a couple hours maybe Epcot for a couple hours like maybe like two what I mean a couple hours um, the plan is to land at 9 a.m. at MCO get a rental car drive over to my to a Publix, pick up some stuff for the party and head to my boss's house to get ready for it. Um, and yeah, like Sarah said, I'm off to Planet Fitness to return to running in a gym. I'm going to try to, maybe not today, but as I go there, you know, five days a week to run and I hide from the cold, I think I'm going to try to incorporate some weightlifting, <laughs> things I learned at Orange Theory that I can use to get back to that. But I really liked the weightlifting like how it made me feel, my, how it made my body and my muscles feel and everything. So I'm coming up on it now. So let's get five miles on these legs. <gasps> Ooh, you see you? Um, night one of Teddy in the pack and play <laughs> um, did not go well. Um, he was up like almost every 45 minutes, which was strange for him, like even I don't know, like even in other situations, like he sleep, he, too, he typically has longer stretches than that. However, this morning his front little tooth was showing through. So we were kind of just worried about, you know, it being a new, um, a new way of him to go down to sleep and that being the only factor affecting it. Um, but clearly he was doing some work on some teeth. So fingers crossed, the tooth is through. Now we can kind of manage that aspect of it and tonight will be better. But I've never known a baby to get so many teeth all at once. He almost has all four across the top. Only the right one is like, it's right there, just hasn't popped through yet. 
Um, but he almost has six teeth at six months. Check it out, SpongeBob fans. They always have fun stuff on this dry erase board. All right, I'm sweaty. I forgot how hot it is in there. All right, really good. Got my five miles in. Um, I didn't, I just like ran five because I didn't, my like training schedule I was supposed to be following, I haven't been following. And so today was actually a rest day, no running because of the long runs I was supposed to be doing over the weekend. So I ran for five. Tomorrow goes back to cross training and then set up miles. So time to run in the Walgreens, then go home. Excuse me. Peter's on his way home, so I have dinner going. I thought that this was a can of black beans, but it was a can of chili beans, so just had to roll with it. I mixed in some green chilies with the beans, and I'm gonna mix that into rice and quinoa as like the base. So it's all right that it's not normal black beans. I guess it just has a little bit, I didn't have to do any like spunking it up because it was already in a chili sauce. The boys are watching Miss Rachel in the next room if you can hear that. Um, this is a can of refried beans. I added sour cream. So then I chopped up some spinach, cherry tomatoes, and avocado. I put a bunch of lime juice on that, salt, pepper, fresh garlic, some cumin, some onion powder, and some cilantro. So I'm gonna mix that up, that's gonna be like the salady bit. And then I didn't realize I bought this cheesy cauliflower bake. I thought it was just cauliflower. So that has been bacon and that's gonna be another topper. Here are the bowls. I did add some banana peppers and then we have the refried beans in case we wanna make like little tostadas with that on top if you don't wanna eat it like a bowl. And that's our simple dinner. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look. <laughs> You're a big kid. You know how I said his top tooth popped through? His other one is coming too. Many, many, many hours later. Um, today was one of those days where I just sat down on the couch and I realized like, we'd been going, going, going all day. It was busy. There's just like a lot to do. <laughs> There's just a lot to be done. And I think that, I don't know if this will be a two-part or not. I feel like we really didn't do much. So I'm like, you know, but that's the thing is like our daily vlog, just it follows our life and we do fun stuff and we like to go places. And the whole point of the Brookhart Project is to make every day worth remembering. That's like, from its core, that's what we decided that we were gonna daily vlog, was to capture the ordinary extraordinary. And I'm just thinking like maybe today that's just an example of that's what, that's what today is. It was special in that Teddy's two front teeth popped through that we sat down and had dinner all together. Um, and just any other little magical thing that happened was worth remembering and is worth this quote unquote boring vlog. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty darn tired. I say this a lot. I feel like a lot of my day is spent um, convincing a small human that they should go to sleep. And we got teeth coming in. We've had some sicky bug roll through. Like sleep has just kind of been tough. Our little ones need us. Um, need that comfort and we are so grateful to be able to provide that we've really sorted out each of their needs i feel like um tonight and peter's in with james now and just hopefully he'll come out and instead of doing anything on our to-do list um i hope that we get to watch a movie together we really wanted to watch disenchanted um for weeks it came out while we were at Disney and we've been meaning to watch it so until he comes out here I'm gonna watch Dead to Me which is it's really cool because it's a show I would watch when I was doing cardio during our fertility treatments like I'd watch it while I was on the treadmill or the bike um, and a new season came out and so I'm gonna watch a little bit now but I think to get myself motivated to get back on the Peloton 
I am going to watch this while I work out again. Hopefully tomorrow. That is, that is my goal after letting us have a relaxing night tonight. Look at Peter and his Jim Halbert PJ pants. The kids are asleep. Yeah. Well. Oh. Look at the tree, it's cool. So we're gonna watch part of Disenchanted. Yeah, because it's late, and so we're gonna be somewhat responsible, but we're also gonna relish in however long we have until one of them wakes up. Probably Teddy. Teddy. Look at this sleepy pup. Oh, I love this stretch. Featuring a pile of laundry. We're like in the credits to learn who all worked on this. One of my favorite things about Enchanted, and we're big Enchanted fans, mm -hmm. is all of like the little Easter eggs that we were pointing them out. And I loved Anastasia and Drizella. Did you like it? Um, I loved it. We watched Disenchanted. I think I mentioned that. I might like it more than Enchanted. <laughs> I don't know. It wasn't what I expected. No, not at all. I cried, which I think was more so about like... Mother-daughter. Yeah, like that, all of a sudden, <laughs> that happened very quickly. If you watched it, you'll know. That happened very quickly and it was... <sighs> oh God, I can't even think about it. But, but we were fans. Yeah, definitely fans. I wanna watch... I like the music a lot. Yeah, I think the thing with like Enchanted is like, there were just like a few songs because it wasn't the fairy tale world and it was like all of a sudden she was singing where there was like a lot of music because it was the fairy tale world. It's like I don't I think it's cool. Like it it fit well. Yeah, they feel like two different chapters of life, which makes sense with those stories. Yeah. Wow. That was good. I feel like that's been a long time coming. Yeah. Let's watch Enchanted now. We gotta go bed. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Wow. Oh, Saint Nicholas? Saint Nicholas came? Good morning. We're so happy you're here on Saint Nicholas Day. Oh, Eva's not a fan. We daily vlog. Thank you if you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to come back every day. And James, might might like Teddy's present. <laughs> So we have not vlogged all day. Um, we are officially unpacked, which is a big deal. And it was one of those things where I was like, maybe it's something I've been putting off and it won't take that long. And I'll be like, why didn't I do this sooner? It was not like that. It took a long time because things have kind of been thrown around. So things need to be refolded. They weren't in like their original spots. Um, but everything's back in its place and I'm starting to think about packing for our next trip. Um, so there is that. I'm gonna cook some dinner. I'm gonna put basically like my mushroom gravy, but like on pasta, like a stroganoff. Um, and then make a yummy plant-based ranch. It says like the TikTok recipe I got this from, you can just hear Evie begging in the background. Um, called it Mother Earth ranch it's green it's not creamy i mean it's creamy in a different way um and then just put that on some green so pasta and salad okay we got the mushrooms going i also did a small onion and chunky garlic so that is cooking in some olive oil salt and pepper and basically just cook in until the onions are see through and the mushrooms like juices have started to come out and you can smell it my water is boiling. I'm gonna throw in this pasta. Doesn't it look gorgeous? I'll be. Now I'm just covering the mushrooms and onions with flour. I'm gonna make a little roux before I start adding in the veggie stock. I think I forgot to mention I use like half a container of standard like white mushrooms. Um, and then I just did like two and a half spoonfuls of flour to coat it. I'll show you. And this is how the veggies should look. This will create a, like a smooth, creamy sauce when you start adding in whatever liquid. If you're gonna use milk, I'm gonna use veggie stock um, to create your sauce. 
so then the flour like isn't clumpy. I thought I had veggie stock, but I have veggie broth. So I'm going to just pour this in and just stir, stir, stir until it's the consistency I want. And then we'll season it up. I started by just like covering the veggies. Because this is gonna be a pasta sauce, I'm not gonna make it as thick as a typical like gravy would be. But pretty creamy. So see, there's no clumps. But this is important, you just have to stir, 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 stir until it gets bubbly. And then after you let it bubble for a little, then you set it to simmer and then it gets nice and nice and thick. So I did add a little bit more broth because it was getting kind of thick. And then I also decided to spunk things up and add in a little bit of tomatoes. Why not? And then those will break down nice and those juices will get all their flavor in there. So, okay, this is gonna get to a boil and then um, keep stirring. Here's what I'll be loading the sauce up with. Thyme, rosemary, black pepper, probably the most would be black pepper. The secret, I think, to my to my gravy is the soy sauce. Just look, you don't have to add any more salt then and it has that nice rich flavor, really complements mushrooms. And today I'm gonna try and put in like a dash of this liquid smoke. I've um, never done that before, but I know, I think it, it might be in the mushroom gravy recipe I've based mine off of and I've never had it before. So I'm just gonna do a little dash of that. All right, so this is how it looks. It's been bubbling a bit, so I'm just gonna turn it down and let it simmer while I make the salad dressing. So this salad dressing I've never made before and I'm taking straight from TikTok, so I will just link it below, but I'll let you know how it goes. I got, like I actually shopped for the ingredients, so I have the real true ingredients for this. Um, so yeah, I'm excited, let's see how it goes. Gonna get you, get you, get you, get you, get you, get you. And here it is. The whole thing is plant-based except for these little croissants are not. Um, and I toasted them in the oven for a little bit. And here is that salad. The person on TikTok, they did it on iceberg lettuce. So I wonder if it would be better on that. But we used spinach and I think I had like Boston lettuce. I don't even know what that means, but that's what it says on the box. Good afternoon, everybody. We're so glad you're here with Daily Vlogs. If you're busy, come back for day. How about that for an intro? Um, do you ever have one of those like, I had, what do we say? It's like the seasonal depression. I had a rough go this week of the seasonal depression. Plus, um, work was a little busy. I had like a, to prepare for like a, it's supposed to be a monthly presentation, but it didn't happen last month. So it was like a big year end one. So I had to prepare for that. So that happened today. So work has been busy, but going well. And I come out and Sarah's just having a gas with her baby and her other baby's sleeping. She's like sitting back watching her favorite Netflix show, which makes me happy because she doesn't take time like that to enjoy her own hobbies like that. And I go down and check the mail because I thought our garland, because we got a bunch more. This garland showed up today and someone was just like standing at the door. I was like, hey, is that, like, is that for this building? And he's like, it's for Sarah. I was like, Sarah, what did we order? We didn't say we'd order anything. She ordered cupcakes. Oh gosh, oh gosh, these are, these are fancy. <laughs> we got all the toppings to shake off. What kind of cupcakes we got here? This one is a peach cobbler. This one is a Samoa. Ooh. This one is cookie dough. We used to like get Molly's cupcakes, like we would kind of venture to them. And I would always get this cookie one that has co cookie dough in the middle. And then this one is butterscotch. Ooh, so we're gonna eat these? Yeah, and our babies haven't been feeling 100%, and so it's just been, I was like, this is this is what we needed. They, she made cupcakes in the show, and I was like, I'm getting cupcakes. I'm sorry this clip is so poor quality. I'm just on my phone. I didn't bring any camera with me. I'm headed to Jewel. I feel like I haven't been outside, maybe since Sunday. And I th bundled myself up, and it's 42 degrees, it feels, Fabulous out. I am just headed into Jewel for a few things. Today we were like just letting ourselves be and I didn't feel like cooking, but I was like, let's just get a minimal stuff from Jewel instead of ordering it. So kind of the best of both worlds. I'm gonna make us some 
grilled cheese. What's nice about our jewel is that they have deli such and fluff already like cut and set out. So you don't have to talk to anybody. I got some Land Lake American cheese and then I got Munster cheese. Munster is the best like stringy gooey cheese and so I always get Munster when I make grilled cheese. And then I got a thing of salami because I decided if we're gonna be scaling it back I'm somebody who thrives off of little treats here and there so instead of like ordering McDonald's I'll just have a slice of salami every once in a while so that that's my that's my spiel about why I'm buying salami and I know that I owe nobody an explanation for my eating habits however I like hearing about other people's little treats they give themselves so that's why I'm sharing so anybody else having a hard time finding any cranberry pop in their stores this was the last sprite and we prefer the ginger ale and I mean our all-time favorite is the cranberry serum mist um, which just like just disappeared in thin air but this is the last one I'm bummed I need I need to stock up maybe I need to go earlier in the season it's our uh, monthly injection of watching our favorite video of all time to our children so they get used to seeing it the best video ever Ooh. wow what a spread these ones have pesto on them yeah it's gonna be the girly good right <laughs> Teddy had avocado, he had tomato soup. Oh gosh, he had some pickle. Boop, 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 boop. A boop, 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 boop. A boop, 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 boop. Where are you going? We've got Ralph Breaks the Internet on. And Peter is out on the prowl on our block because we ordered more garland for the doorways, it's gonna be a winter wonderland. And it said it was delivered, but they're not here. Oh gosh. Then he did the same thing to the other whose houses leaving crumbs much too small for the other two mouses. What is that? Is that a box from Target? Yeah. It's a miracle, a Christmas miracle. It's down in the mail room. Yay! We were so disappointed. We thought that it, they were gone. It definitely, I bet, was delivered. And I bet one of our neighbors took it. Why? Because this is, there's a clear piece of tape over this. Oh. Like it was cut open. It said at, tw it was marked at 12 o'clock that it was here. And it's like 12 o'clock midnight, so. I'm so happy that I ended up working out. We just can't put them right now because we can't be nailed into the wall at this hour. <laughs> right. Um, but it'll be a winter wonderland before you leave Friday. We're going to have a little bit of a busy day tomorrow. Good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>